Iman Gazi, one of the most popular YouTuber right now. And if you watch his video and wondering how actually he's created this kind of amazing thumbnails, today I'm going to show you all of the process step by step so that you can also replicate that kind of style and create your own videos thumbnails easily. So what are you waiting for? Let's start the video. After opening the image into Photoshop, next step is to remove the background because I'm going to add a lot of things in the background so I need to remove that perfectly. To do that, first I'm going to take the pen tool and make a path around the image. After making the path, now I'm going to make a selection. You can go with that selection or you can paste the right button on your mouse and make a selection. Keep the feather around 0 and hit OK. Now you can see we just make the selection. Next step is to select the layer and create a duplicate layer. Then apply the layer mask. After removing the background, the next step is face retouching. And we're going to remove some of the spot and if your image has a lot of spots or any kind of spots first you need to remove that and then make some uh, adjustment with the face color and also using the brush to make it smoother to do that first i'm going to take the spot healing tools and remove the spots from the face Now we're going to apply brush to our skin. To do that first create a blank layer, then take the brush tool and adjust the opacity around 5%. Press Alt or Option on your keyboard and take a sample from the skin color and then apply the brush over the face and make it smoother and make the skin more smoother and good looking as you can see. And now you can see I just apply the brush but some of the area are just are too much uh, brushes so I need to be adjust this one. To do that first apply a layer mask to the layer then take the brush tool make sure the foreground color is black and remove the some of this area to make some adjustment and make it more natural. And now you can see I think it's perfectly okay. The next step is to apply lighting to the left and right side. To do that, first create a blank layer, then choose a color around something like red. And then take the brush tool and apply the color into the right side. Now change the blinding mode into a different modes to try to see which is good. For me, I'm going to go with the overlay or soft light for this time. After doing that, again take a blank layer, then apply the color too much and try to be more. And then change the blending mode, this time hard light. Now change the fill into around 20% uh, or 30% that will be perfect and see which is good. And after applying that you can see some of the part need to be more adjustment and you can see the light is too much on my shoulder so I'm going to remove that one. To do that again apply a layer mask and take the brush tool make sure the foreground color is black and remove the, some of the part from my shoulder and hand. Now we're going to again apply the same color from the left side by using a blue color this time. To do the same process, create a blank layer and again take the color and change the blending mode and try to see which is good for you. Now we're going to do the same process on the left side to apply a blue color. To do that just create a blank layer and again do the same process. Try to do some experiment with the blending mode and see which is one good for you and good fit for you. Now you can see we just apply color from the both left and right side and mix all the adjustment. I think this is perfectly okay for me right now. The next step. The next step is now to create more lighting effect from, from that uh, to side to make it more brighter. So we're going to do the same process again and again. 
uh, there is a lot of way you can do that but i'm going to use a very simple method that you can also follow to do that first i'm going to press double click on the image layer it will open the layer style after opening the layer style now apply uh, inner glow and also the inner shadow to adjust that and make it more brighter we're going to target from first from the right side and apply colored and make it more brighter you can follow my steps And now you can see we just apply lighting from that shoulder side and this is okay but you can also see there's lighting from the other side and it's not looking good to do that first we need to remove that uh, so the process will be just uh, just uh, press the right button on the effect and then create layer after creating the layer you can see next apply layer mask to the both layer and now remove the other part that you don't want Do the same thing and remove the color from the second layer also. Now for the final touch of that two layer, just make some adjustment, take your time and apply the color into the perfect area to make it more good looking or kind of more natural to that. So just take some time and adjust the color properly. Now after applying the color on the right side, next step is to uh, we're going to apply light on the left side. To do that, we're going to follow the same style, just apply inner glow and also the inner shadow. Try to do experiment and see which is one good. For me this time, I'm going to go with the inner shadow only. After applying the inner glow, next step is to apply the same thing or same kind of color to the layer. Just press it the right button on your mouse and create layers and again apply the layer mask and just adjust it to remove from the other side. Now the next step is to apply color to the face side and you're going to take a solid color. Then change the blending mode into linear dot or color dot. After that, just apply the color only to the face side area and do some of the experiment. Try to make it more perfect and more natural. Some of the time it, it will be uh, distorted but you can adjust it because we are working as a non-destructive way. So just uh, take your time and adjust the color properly. applying the color into the left side now going to do the same thing from the right side take your time and apply the color properly by following my steps now i'm going to use some of the social media icon into the background as like the iman why he is using uh, so do the same thing is a very simple process just take some of the icon and put it in the background because we already removed the background so we can you do that easily After putting the social media icon into the background and adjust the size properly, next step we're going to apply motion blur. To do that, go to the filter, blur and take the Gaussian blur. Adjust it properly and don't make it too much or make it too less, just adjust it and see which is good for your image and I think this is perfectly okay for me and now it's good to go. And the next step is to apply shadow over to the social media icon and we're going to use the brush tool and create a blank layer and then apply some of the darken color to make the shadow more natural. And for the final, we're going to create a HUD to make it more natural or something similar to the image. I'm going to take that screenshot and put it into the main composition. Take to then take it to the top then i'm going to convert it to a smart object after creating the smart object double press on the icon of the thumbnail of the layer after converting the image into smart object now double click on the thumbnail of the layer 
then make a selection to the area that you want to show into the image for me i think this is okay and now save it and then you can see which it's already showing on to the composition now adjust the size and put it perfectly into the phone in the top of the phone like to, to create the hard effect And for the final, I'm going to apply some of the lines. And for the final, now after adjusting the size, now we need to do some of the experiment with the blending mode to create the hard effect more realistic. So just do some of the experiment and make some duplicate layer and create a very good hard looking effect for the image. Now you can see we are almost done. Next step we need to create a lighting more lighting effect to the hut. To do that just double click on the layer and apply inner glow and outer glow. Adjust it properly and you are good to go. Now you can see we are almost done. The next step is to apply camera filter. You can go with that or you can also go with the camera filter. It depends on you. Camera filter is an optional but it gives more color grading or color look grading looks into the image. So I'm going to apply camera filter into the image. Camera filter is experimental. There is no specific rules you can do. You need to be do so lots of experiments to come up with a better idea. So for me, I'm going to tell you that just apply a lot of colors. I'll try to experiment with that and see which one is good for you. And now we can see we just created that effect as like the Iman using on his thumbnail and I think it's a very clickbait and a lot of people were going to click on the thumbnail if they watch this one. 
so i just show you all the process step by step i think you'd like this video and if you want to download that template just check the link in the description i just share my all of the templates and also the photoshop assets over there you can just go and download them easily and if you like this video hit that like button and also please be sure to share and let me know if you have any kind of requested topic to learn or just want to see my process how to create them and that's it for today see you in my next video till then bye